Guys, we are back in Toronto. It's fucking freezing out. It's disgusting. I'm here with Sasha and we have a new addition. This is Zoe. She's gonna be on the vlog and in life. Okay, we are shooting Gucci today. That's why we're in this really fucking weird studio, but I think it will look really good for Gucci. Anyway, welcome back to Toronto. without you prepping everything for the birthday oh girl. wait we have to show the drink card oh my god yeah so as everyone knows it's impossible to get a girl who has everything something so we made her a little cocktail inspired by her personality so gin because she's a complicated soul just a touch of syrup because she's the tiniest bit sweet lemon because she has a sour mood some champagne because she's rich and bougie and elegant and some uh, rose garnish because she's beautiful Aww. hopefully she likes it yeah she will for the vlog guess of honor has finally arrived i can't breathe though what the okay. fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> this is <laughs> We curated a cocktail based off of your horrid personality. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> For the complexity. This is really small. <laughs> it is really small. I literally thought this said the first one for her complaining. <laughs> I was like, on point. This is nice. Is that just me? Honestly, this is like, I like this. Yeah. Thank you guys. It's really nice. You didn't read all of them. I did. What, what, what was I doing? I was reading. You didn't laugh that you have sour moods? Well, it's just truth. <laughs> yeah, and then we nice. said, we finished it off on a nice note. I got that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's the part. Okay, ready? It was more than weekends on there. Guys. Tell us where the bakery is from. It's on college and different. It's called Quento Bakery. Well, I Quinto do not bakery. come downstairs. Okay, sorry. Three, two. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, Wait, one second. Like, no, five. Stop. Pause if you don't have lighters. <laughs> I don't have one. No. Just you wait. Just, you like just stop right there. I've been thinking about vlogging a lot, and I haven't been vlogging a lot lately. Kind of been trying to figure out why I don't really feel like I want to vlog. I think I've just come to a point where I'm really like guarded with the internet because I think it's a kind of a scary place and it used to be really fun and now it's not so fun sometimes. So I'm trying to find a good balance between obviously vlogging because I, I love connecting with you guys, but also keeping my peace and having a bit of like privacy as well. Anyway, this morning I'm making scones because I'm starving and I have zero food, which is so classic. And I bought these scones from Mildred's. They were like frozen. And so I'm gonna make them. It said to brush 35% cream on them. I 
don't have that. They would never have cream. <laughs> so I just brushed vegan butter on them. You think that's gonna do the trick? <laughs> I feel like in the past, I've literally vlogged everything, like highs and lows of everything, like literally crying on YouTube, happiest moments, like all of it. I feel like now I don't wanna vlog the like lows because when you're already feeling low, the backlash you get on feeling low makes you feel it worse. I've just thought that was really interesting. I don't know, I'm, I'm in a weird, like tra transformative kind of area. I think I used to have a lot of fun on the internet and I think that the internet's just kind of a bit of a toxic place right now. I don't know, I'm trying to find a good balance. That's kind of my, I almost want to start every vlog with like thoughts, <laughs> like, or like every morning, so every morning I feel like I have so many, like my brain, literally when I wake up, my brain's like, let's think of everything. Maybe I'll like share those with you guys. Cause they're always just like, it's not an opinion. It's just like a thought, like, hmm, that's interesting. So today's Monday and I am going to start, we're going to fashion week on Thursday, I think. Um, so I have to start like pulling outfits. Hopefully I've got my schedule today and then starting to like make outfits and pull them and stuff. I'm also getting a table today. I changed around my whole living room last week. We'll insert some footage. TV stand. Also insert some footage. Fifty-five inch TV is pretty big. I can't I can't even imagine having like an eighty inch or something. Just like that. that said, I don't know if anyone remembers my TV in my first place, which I think. Maybe, I don't remember if the size of it, but the quality was horrific. I literally think the TV was, I think I got it for like $150. <laughs> it was such bad quality. This TV, I did get the Samsung frame, so I did fall out. But even my last TV, it was pretty good quality. It was a Roku, pretty good. Not like break the bank, which was nice. That was also 55 inch, but it does like really change. It, it changes when you spend money on a TV. Also, a lot of people were asking me like, oh my God, do you, do you not have a TV for my story? Cause I showed the layout for my story. I'm like, guys, do you not know me? I fucking love TV. And so I'm very happy with how my living room is looking. Still need some furniture. This weekend I went to look at some runners. These are the ones that they had options like, like I could bring home. There was two more that I was looking at. These are all Missoni. And I really like them. I think they're very fun and I want to do something fun. There's some other ones that I, I'm finding it very difficult to like get what I want with all, obviously without paying a million dollars. I actually just want to buy like a rug, like a custom rug. So they make it the same, that size and then get it installed. But I actually find it kind of difficult to find rug, sorry, runner installers that you don't have to buy the rugs from the place. So if you know of anyone who will literally just measure, I'll buy, the size and then they can install it. Please let me know in Toronto. I just couldn't, I can't find anyone that can, that will do that. Cause I found some like rugs that I really like that they will make the size that I need, but I just can't find someone that will just install it. Slash, I want someone to measure it out properly. I don't want to me measure it. And then it comes and they're like, oh, you don't have enough. And I'm like, it's cool. So that's my predicament right now. Uh, but I do like those Missoni ones and that's, uh, they're from LT. So they will I can buy and then they'll install. So we'll see. Um, table I'm buying, I'm getting from CB2. We're gonna go pick up, pick it up from the warehouse. But before that, I'm gonna drink another coffee and eat my scones. I don't have jam, which is my favorite way to eat scones. So we're just gonna have to eat it. But we're good. I just put on lip gloss and my lips are fucking burning. jam. Do you think putting maple syrup on it would be gross? I'm gonna put butter because 
it needs like just a little bit, you know, it needs some, it needs something. I'm acting like I made them. Literally bought them frozen from Mildred's. Mm. Hot. I went and picked up the table and it took me way longer than I thought. And then I got home and I ate. And after I ate, I literally got so tired. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm so tired, exhausted. I'm trying to plan what I'm gonna pack for fashion week. I did get a new suitcase. I got a big trunk from Ramoa because I need all the space I can get. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to fashion week, but nothing like the confirmations come in really late, which makes things very difficult. Because I leave Thursday, it's Monday, and so far I have about one outfit. I think I'm too tired to walk. Something's wrong. Oh, I got Athletic Greens. Everyone's been raving about them. So we're gonna give it a go because I definitely don't eat enough vegetables. <laughs> this is like a perfect for me because <laughs> I'm not kidding, like I, I actually don't drink enough. I don't eat enough vegetables, like it's not good. I don't think I eat enough in general, but I definitely don't eat enough vegetables. So let's do a little taste test. And to be fair, they did send me this product because they want to partner, but I want to try stuff before obviously I partner. But everyone I know, like Sharin uses this. My manager, Lordana uses this. Like so many people I know use it and love it. So that's why I agreed. Let's give it a go. I need to shake it up more. It's pretty good though. It's like, it's not bad at all. I think you can also like put it in smoothies if you want. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good, not bad. Okay, I have to get back to uh, figure out what I'm gonna wear. This is where I'm at so far. I think I'm probably gonna call it a night. I will show you when my table comes in though. It's in Jonathan's car. So I'll show you that. But as you can probably tell, I'm so tired. I just think about all the times I'm on the vlog and I'm like, guys, I'm so tired. And you guys are probably like, shut the fuck up. And I'm like, yeah, you're fa fair, I should. So I didn't show you the table yesterday because we didn't do this until last night, but here is the table. So cute, right? So I'm gonna have two little chairs. It's a little close to that, but like we're, we're working with not a lot of space here. Obviously that picture is gonna go on the wall. This is gonna be all cleared out. I'm just actually packing for fashion week. I mean, my place is a little messy right now, but the table's so cute. I got it from CB2. So right now I'm gonna try on some outfits and pack for fashion week. So this is kind of what I do is I put outfits on and then I see if I like, see if I like them, like how will be styled. So like tucked in, whatever. And like, it's gonna be cold. So I don't really know. I'm probably just gonna put like layers underneath. Like I'll probably end up wearing like leggings underneath if I'm not wearing a coat. And then I take my phone, take a photo, and then I put it into an album so I remember. Sometimes I like to take video too, to see how the outfit kind of like walks or moves, you know? And then I will leave my stuff out on this clothing rack or like around it so that it can be packed accordingly. I also like to use things in multiple outfits so I'm not packing like an insane amount of stuff. So I'll try to make that happen. Like this turtleneck I'll probably use in like a few looks. Best. Probably use this vest in another look too, but we'll see. And then sometimes you put an outfit on and it's ugly. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple hours. I feel like you don't wanna watch every outfit. So I'll talk to you later. Well, good morning. It's been a morning. Uh, my flight was at 9.20 in the morning to go to New York and I did miss it. Missed my first flight ever. It's just some situation with my car that was taking me to the airport. And then when I got to the airport, I had missed the bag check-in. It used to be 60 minutes and now it's 90 minutes. So I missed the, the bag check-in. So then, yeah, I had to go home. But you know what? In like my three years of traveling, that was my first flight I've ever missed. So it wasn't that big of a deal. 
today was just supposed to be like fittings and stuff. So I did just have to like reschedule everything, but I still am gonna make it to like my event tonight. So it honestly shouldn't be that big of a deal. It does suck though. And now I'm getting some breakfast and John is driving me to the airport. 12 hours later, we made it. <laughs> what a day. So yeah, I missed my flight in the morning because of a car mix up. And then I was put back on the two. PM, so I went home, which actually isn't that big of a deal. I, I actually live kind of close to the airport. Like, it's not, it's not crazy. I ended up getting refunded for the car in the morning, which is great. Cause there was like a lot of issues. Um, and also I missed my flight, so. <laughs> and then I got back on the plane, scary turbulence plane. <laughs> and now I am at my hotel. I did miss all of my events today. All of my fittings, all of my events, but. It is what it is, you know, like can't do anything about it. Things that I can't control, I don't really get. It doesn't bother me, you know, it's like, it is what it is. I do have a party tonight. So tired, but I ordered sweet green. I'm going to this party alone. I'm pretty proud of myself because that's kind of hard. Go to a party alone. I don't know if I'm even gonna know anyone. A lot of my New York, friend, New York City friends are not in town, whatever. I'm just gonna go have a drink. There's like two people. That I know for sure are going, so maybe see them. Chill for a bit. Come home. You know, the main thing, the only thing that matters in work, other than obviously hard work, is networking. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna lie, I have a bit of social anxiety about going to this party alone. My team is coming in tomorrow. So I'm a little anxious about that. I also like, I just did not have enough time to get ready. It's fine. I did see some people in full ball gowns, so I'm a little concerned, but I'm wearing this like the Fendi set that they gave me. It's like a little big for me, but like this is what I got. My YSL shoes I haven't worn yet. I definitely need to get spray lot. I came for my feet. These are brand new, never worn them. And then I'm gonna do my Bottega. My hair was just like kind of blown straight, so I just flattened it and then sprayed it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys have been watching me for like years, you know that the first couple, first day is just a lot of anxiety. So let's go. <laughs> I know I only recorded that one tiny clip, but I did it guys. Full, like I thought it was gonna be more chill than that. It was like full rager party, first of all. 8 p.m. Full rager party at 8 p.m. I went alone, saw a few people I knew actually, so I talked to them, then I went home because I kind of have an early morning and I honestly just want to go to bed, but I saw everyone that I need to see, plus some old friends, which was good. Honestly, hotel room by yourself is so nice. Usually I stay with Sasha, and so it's my first time like staying alone. <sighs> I'll miss her. I miss you, Sash.